everybody, this is Fate of Tarkir again for more of Transformers Prime. We last left off with the uh, Starscream basically uh, finding Megatron out in space, ripping the blood of Unicron straight from his chest. And I'm pretty sure Soundwave call all of that on camera. Because he's just like, Soundwave? If you're listening to this, I found our master and he's uh, not doing too well. And yeah, I am pretty sure that little bat bird drone thing, I don't know what that is. Basically saw it all happen. And I wouldn't be surprised if he tell tattletales on Starscream. Eh, probably will. So then they just hook up Megatron to these life support giant ass tubes that look like they're meant for fueling up jets. <laughs> That's actually not an unfair comparison. So what? Starscream just looked over at a sound wave and went. Fill him up. <laughs> so um. You're having trouble getting that image out of your head, aren't you? I've had worse images in there. Yeah, true. Like a meat toboggan? <laughs> Honestly, no, not that one. Yeah. But yeah, all these life support tubes just placed on his body, and yet none of them are inside the chest. Hello? Ow. I think there's enough holes in your ceiling without you helping. <laughs> but yeah, we left off with that. Also, Skyquake got his ass kicked. Thank you, Bumblebee. I also thought you weren't going to mention him at all. <laughs> I mean, I still don't understand what was up with this voice. They were trying something. <laughs> it's like booming, yet echoing at the same time. It like did he's not there, work. it did not, not work. work. No. It's like he was there, yet not. Because it, you know he's there, but his voice sounds like it's coming from a mile or two away. <laughs> I think that makes that kind of weird. So yeah, moving on to episode 7, Scrap Heap. Honestly, I've seen pictures of these little scraplet machine things. And oh my god, are they adorable? I want one. <laughs> uh, I have a bookmark somewhere where you can order 3D printed ones. <laughs> I seriously hope they make an appearance in this one. Eh, enough hoping. Let's Sorry, get. You forgot the second one. The what? The second episode. Eh, yeah. After this, it'll be con job. Hmm. Eh, it's got to deal with the Decepticons in some way. <laughs> <laughs> be weird if it didn't. What could just be a con man? Pretending to be Fowler. It'd be kind of messed up if he was Fowler than Fowler. <laughs> You're trying to work around what I just said, aren't you? No, I'm trying to find it, figure out if that would have been a good plot or not. <laughs> like Con Man taking Fowler's place? Like, doesn't sound terrible, but then there's the question of how the fuck did he find out about all this shit? Internet. <laughs> I mean, the government can try all they want to cover this shit up, but there are, are some people who will just repost it. We told you to delete that shit. I did. 
Then why is it still up? Oh, I had more than one copy. Delete every copy you own. Fine. Hey, you got a copy of that video? Yeah. Can you text me? <laughs> <laughs> that's probably how that shit goes. I guess that's another reason why this show probably does take place in like early 2000s at the latest. <laughs> no internet. Or at least not widespread. No social media. YouTube, YouTube doesn't exist. We'll see. That was a very shitty timeline. Well, YouTube didn't actually start until 2004, and it didn't become popular until, like, mid to late 2000s. I'm pretty sure I was using it in 2004. That's that's when it first came out, so yeah. I don't care. Pretty early on. Uh, I gotta get this crap over with. My head still hurts. It... I know the pills might take a while, but... Yeah. It'll probably be kicking in about halfway through, depending. I took two of them. Yep. No. Like I said, up to a half hour. Yeah. So, yeah, enough chitty-chatting. We'll be getting this episode in... Three, two, one... Incendio! <laughs> what? Incendio? To light up the torches. Oh, oh. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Alright, so. Yeah. Start with the. Uh... Scribe Heap. Yeah, I guess. Yeah. They're so cute! <laughs> Until, yeah, they're not. Until they're Yet terrifying! Until they're not. So, um. Cute and terrifying. It's. I, I'm not entirely sure. The Scraplets have been in Transformers since uh, at least the G1 comics. Like, the original Marvel ones. Um, but my question is... But... How did they get inside that casing and then into the Arctic? Uh, probably ejected off of Cybertron. Probably. Uh, Drifted was, for a couple hundred... Light years. <laughs> sure. Then. Mm. Um. But yeah, like, I I feel like they it's might a be a reference to. Uh, <laughs> did you ever see a, 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 like a short animated thing called Chub the Chub Chubs? Hell no. Um. That sounded. Yeah, the name sounds gay. a little bit wrong, but. Uh, <laughs> it's the Chub Chubs. It's basically the. <laughs> A very similar premise. There's um this alien that's like not doing so well. He's getting beat up by everybody and made fun of. He goes out and just walks around and he eventually finds these cute, seemingly cute little animals. Um, and he'd been warned about the that there was a group of dangerous beings called the Chub Chubs that were coming towards the place where he lived. Um, and these, like, giant barbarians appeared, and he's just like, oh, it's the Chub Chubs. I should be less ter- or I should be, uh, very terrified. Um, but then, no, it turns out his cute little animal friends that he found are, the, are actually those things, and they open up their mouths, and it's pretty much the same as the Scrapplets. So... Jeez. And then they eat the bar- barbarians alive. Yeah. It, it's it's a weird thing. I My teacher showed it to us in, I think, middle school. So it's like, <laughs> oh, my God. Yeah. It can't be any worse than uh, middle school. Basically, well, this was for history class in middle school. They, made, they had us watch Braveheart, a rated R movie, and they didn't hand out permission slips. Ooh. Hmm. <laughs> uh, did they selectively, like, avoid scenes with sax or gore? Absolutely not. They kept the movie going the entire damn time. They didn't wow. skip through shit. 
<laughs> uh, you had a good teacher. <laughs> Mr. Perkins. Um, Made social studies fun. Yeah, Scrap Heap was a relatively simple episode. And the only episode in the series to not... Although, I know the Scraplets like eating metal, but their favorite is living metal. Mm-hmm. They had a metal toolbox with metal tools and a metal slab. How come none of them that were just straddling on like... Okay, before we go for the living, I want a snack. I don't know. Um, because it should not have been that easy to just repair the Energon leak. There should have yeah, been some I complications. Mean, with only a half hour, there's only so much they can do. I imagine if they had, like, a full hour or longer, they, <laughs> they would could have put the have cap complications. More. Snack time! <laughs> yeah, you have to figure out a way to, like, 3D print plastic tools or something. But, um, yeah. Only episode in the series that I can remember that does not feature any Decepticons. The Scraplets are bad enough. <laughs> Pretty much. Um, Actually, I wouldn't put it past Decepticons to recruit Scraplets for their jobs. <laughs> I mean, I can very much see a situation in which the Decepticons have a capsule like that and they just throw it at an Autobot installation. Um, yeah. Ding dong, present for you. <laughs> Uh, yeah, that kind of uh, biological or play warfare. lob with a ball full of scraplets. <laughs> I mean, the object of this game is to not break the ball. <laughs> I feel like you know throwing scraplet, thro throwing a <laughs> swarm of flesh-eating monsters at your enemies is kind of effective pushing the edge of like war crimes but i mean it's the decepticons they they definitely do commit war crimes oh so they're nazis in some <laughs> incarnations yeah yeah actually Zihail! Zihail! <laughs> i mean they very much believe in, in uh in well in some incarnations they very much do believe in the supremacy of mechanical life forms we are the perfect beings. Destroy everything else. Pretty much. Um, Where's Anne Frank? <laughs> one other detail that I only just noticed in this episode um, is that when you're seeing things from the Scraplet's perspectives, you see like the the things that they want to eat lit up all kinds of colors, like heat. Their heat, yeah, their heat signatures. They're using. Uh, of course, that only applies heat, to heat seeking. metal. That has heat to it. There's Anything else is just blank. Yeah, but the interesting thing is although that they did, they did scan Jack, but they didn't see any like metal. Mm -hmm. So they're like, Pfft. but the interesting thing. And then saw the others are like, <gasps> smiles. <laughs> what I was trying to say is that when you see Scraplets pass in front of the Scraplets' vision. The other scraplets aren't lit up. Hive mind? Maybe. Some kind of built-in anti-cannibalism feature. Who knows? And that begs another question. Who the hell invented the scraplets? They're, <laughs> they're Cybertronian wildlife. Exactly, but they can't have been put on... They can't have been there when Cybertron was first made. Um, Meaning they have to have been put on there by somebody. Because huh. according to you, it was Primus, or whoever the fuck it is that's now the core of Cybertron. He, they created the original, what, 12 Primes? Primus created... 12 or 13 of them? The primes... Basically created the other Cybertronians. More or less. Um, that would include Scraplets. Except that Scraplets don't have a spark that we know of. My guess is they were probably a failed experiment of creating intelligent life or something like that. They and were left been. away. There were definitely some weird experiments that the Primes <clears throat> were doing. They weren't all good people. 
Um, Megatronus. Well, he... <laughs> it depends <clears throat> on which version of the story you read. Um... <laughs> I mean, for all we know, the uh, Scraplets could have been an attempt at creating beneficial wildlife, but something went horribly wrong. Drink waste disposal. Yeah. I, either um, that, or they could have deviated from their original programming to only recycle the dead bodies. I mean, again... They get a taste for flesh. They are alive. They are alive. They don't seem to have sparks that we know of, but they are alive. But as so far they... as we know, they are intelligent. Enough to actually well, pick out their meals. Intelligent as any animal. Um, there are some pretty intelligent animals out there. I don't think they're at bird levels of intelligence. <laughs> I ain't talking about birds. They definitely seem to be about dog level. Bark, 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 bark. Shut up! <laughs> um, Let me out of here. But yeah, I mean, they could definitely have evolved to be something other than what they were meant to be. I mean, yeah, they could have started off as waste disposal, but then getting a taste for flesh, their they decide they like the circuitry stuff and Ugh. programming will evolve to the point like, okay, we're just going to stick with flesh. <laughs> so yeah, uh, one of... There, there are a couple of horror-esque episodes in this show. Scrap Heap is one of the ones that plays it more comedy, I think. But Yeah, Bulkhead screaming due to wires and tubes. But then you also get the scene where Bulkhead just very gruesomely explains how they can eat someone alive. <laughs> From the inside. Ugh. Um, <clears throat> so yeah, Scrap Heap. Fun. Uh, and the, the reason why it's good to watch these two together is because in Con Job there is a little bit of carryover from the previous episode. Ground bridge was fixed, but freaking Ratchet didn't like the sound it made on the return trip, so he shuts it all down and to fix it. Right. Again. This blasted scraplets. <laughs> they um, ruined everything. Yeah, make, makeshift is a interesting idea. They definitely don't explain it in the episode, and obviously he's dead now. <laughs> Um, so they never do explain it. He's actually a member of a sub-race of Cybertronians. They're called Shifters. And they they possess a rather unique ability to turn into basically anything. As long as they have the correct data for it, right? And that includes other Cybertronians. They're and basically since... the scrolls from Marvel. <laughs> In term, well, plus regular... Cybertronian shape-shifting, but, like... True. I mean, it's good they have Soundwave, then, who has basically data on almost anything. Yeah. yeah. Um, so that's what Soundwave is. A PDA. <laughs> <laughs> a personal digital assistant. I mean... <laughs> you're not wrong. <laughs> He's basically Clippy. Um, but, yeah, Makeshift uh, could turn into Wheeljack and infiltrate the base and figure out where they were. And and Bulkhead figured it out. Yeah, because there's only so much you can learn about someone by just reading about them. Mm-hmm. And I liked the detail... Okay, that has what? been weird ever since. It just looks like a fucking eyeball in the middle of your desk. <laughs> there are several of them. It's watching us. I don't know what's feel like. Somebody's watching me. Um, right, so... What was I saying? I don't know, but I oh. still found it adorable for that one scraplet, though. <laughs> Just yeah. looks that up at Raph. That one was unusually <laughs> affectionate. You want to play fetch? <laughs> Just spins around. No, no, don't, don't eat that. You're going to... Okay, maybe not. <laughs> Just runs up to him and goes... <laughs> so you like that episode better than I mean, the con job was good. But that one scraplo was just adorable. Hmm. That's interesting, man. That, that's, that's actually good. We disagree. But yeah, I mean, I, I like that episode for Wheeljack. I like it for the way that they don't 
prolong the mystery of when is he going to replace him, if he replaced him. Um, and also just, like, the, the gradual... Build up to the confrontation. Like, you can start to sl- start to see Makeshift's mask slip. You can start to yeah, see Yeah, I could see that, definitely. Struggle to keep up the charade and, like... And stories. Yeah, fu- he, like, he didn't have all the information. He nope. had other goals and desires that made it hard for him to keep up. Basically, that entire thing was a patchwork. Yeah, it was, it was a rush job. <laughs> With more time, he probably could have imitated... Uh, they only had time for Will a quickie. Perfectly. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> and yeah, as I mentioned, I've had several ideas for how to change that in an abridged version. Um, but that one scene from Scrap Heap with Bulkhead dancing and screaming... We're gonna have a field day with that. I mean, do you really need to alter it in any way? <laughs> and a couple of choice cuss words in there. Well, okay, yeah. And that's a more obvious. girly scream. How? I can't do it. And I'm pretty sure I don't want you demonstrating anything right now. <laughs> Maybe. Like, at the very least, I want to be on the other side of the room with that. <laughs> Why? Considering your laugh was just enough to make my ears go a little hurt. <laughs> I mean, you, you, it was pitched right there. Like, you, <laughs> that, that was piercing. Um, oh, not as piercing as I can get. Exactly. Uh, what was it? Oh, I mean, Wheeljack himself is very, he, this isn't his strongest showing, because, I mean, it's his first showing, and he wasn't even there for half of it. <laughs> yeah, he was stuck in a brig. Mm-hmm. Hey, you, guard, come here! <laughs> You're not going anywhere. No, 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 no! Just turn around for me, will you? Why? <laughs> 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 ah! Oh, come on! Will you aim? Crack. Crack! Finally, something useful. <laughs> um, yeah, I think... I, uh, first mention of the Wreckers. I believe I've talked about them before with you. Um, when? Yeah, maybe. <laughs> I, I don't know. I feel like I've mentioned them. I don't know. <laughs> Probably yeah, the not. last time I recorded to the first six episodes or so. Mm-hmm. Doubtful. So I don't know if that was on the previous hard drive or not. No, we're past it. We're past. We're past all of it. I mean, when I was when we were when I was first recording to the first six yeah, episodes, was no I was asking you records. questions. I don't remember. You don't remember that we just watched them? I meant in the episodes. There's no mention of records. I get so that, I but I don't know if I was asking you about Transformers lore back then. Right, uh, so... So we don't know if the wreckers were actually mentioned it in those recordings actually, before they got destroyed. Remember, they will eventually explain the wreckers, so we'll just, uh... Well, then it's probably a good thing I don't remember. I'll, I'll just not bother. Um, but, uh, yeah, I mean, they were a team. Bulkhead and Wheeljack were both on it. We know that much. <laughs> and Wheeljack just wants to go back up into the stars, see what he can find. Maybe find more of the team. Yeah. Good luck with that! Oh my goodness, that's loud out there. What is that? I think somebody's mowing. Are you fucking kidding me? Why? Actually, no! What the fuck is that? I don't even know. (laughs) Is it like a vacuum? Are you trying to get rocks and sticks off the sidewalk? I think it might be for cleaning up (laughs) shit. Like, uh... Shit? Dirt. (laughs) Dog dirts? Yeah, sure. Human turds too. Yeah, there Hopefully are people. Not. There will. There are people who Hopefully. will just go out there at night and shit on the sidewalk. Hopefully not around here. <laughs> I mean, I wouldn't put it past people. I'm on the outskirts of the suburbs. I'm and I'm close to a classier neighborhood. I mean, I'm also close to a not so classy neighborhood. But exactly. Eh, I mean that's everywhere. <laughs> um, <laughs> right. So scrap heap content. Yeah, you want class? Else. You just go to fucking Hollywood. 
Is there anything else to mention with these episodes? We we killed off. Oh right, uh, they they purposefully killed Makeshift right now because he's OP. Beep, 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 beep. Like that's not even an opinion. They actually said that the creators did. Oh yeah, we screwed up when we made this one. Let's kill him off. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> this was a great idea. Too bad it's way too OP, and we have no idea how to write him for the rest of the series without making him a story breaker. So we're just gonna. Kill him off. <laughs> For all we know, he could take Megatron's job. Theoretically, he could <laughs> disguise himself as Megatron and just take over. Yes, but which version of Megatron? The one with the Unicron blood or without? I mean, he could take the appearance. To take to get the Dark Energon eyes and whatnot, he'd have to actually use Dark Energon. But... Exactly. So, with Megatron with Dark Energon in him, and if, with Makeshift trying to copy that... It wouldn't exactly work because the crew would find out. If he didn't inject himself, yeah. Or if, like, Megatron, raise an army of the dead. Uh, okay, just turn oh, well, around. To be clear on that, I mean, he doesn't have any more. Like, he <clears throat> threw the entire crystal at Cybertron, so. Well, he still has that one sliver that Starscream took out of him. Exactly, Starscream has it now. <laughs> Somehow. But what is Somewhere. he going to do with it? Good question. And he's going to shove it up as his exhaust port. I did say it's a suppository. <laughs> I, I was joking, but <laughs> we can bring that joke back. <laughs> and he's got to have something to plug it. <laughs> Great, using a chunk of Unicron's blood as a butt plug. <laughs> I'm. That'll piss him off. No. <laughs> I'm going back to my game. <laughs> well, I've thoroughly disturbed Flash Notion there, and now he's going back to playing Mario Kart. <laughs> On that very disturbing and... Well, disturbing note and disturbing mental image, I am saying adieu.